okay uh, welcome to all so today we will be discussing about uh, how to denoise a signal uh, using wavelet transform okay so this course the, basically this is a part of uh, uh, advanced neuroscience and uh, we are capturing the uh, brain human brain electrical response uh, basically it's called evoke potential so for this uh, we will be working with uh, dr sharad babu which who is uh, graduated from stanley medical college and uh, pg from jipmar so he is uh, extensively working on uh, evoke potential and also with my two student uh, one undergraduate student from bit shashwat another is shubhadeep who is doing uh, ms in uh, advanced neuroscience so in in the first phase of this course we will be discussing about n18 median and uh, p24 uh, tbl uh, and then we will be extending our further study for uh, epileptic form syndrome and uh, hypoxic hie that is hypox hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy uh, basically we will be finding the absence of any particular wave its uh, latency and is there any amplitude difference or not so uh, we will uh, go in details uh, one by one slowly so uh, today we will be discussing about the uh, uh, decomposition and denoising of a signal using wavelet uh, wavelet transform okay so uh, and and uh, to find out the similarity of the signal we will be using a cross correlation it will be helpful to uh, find out a uh, <coughs> particular uh, with known signal with a known signal and capture signal similarity and we can conclude so we'll be using all those things one by one uh, today this is a, this is a very short uh, lecture here we'll be knowing uh, the denoising of signal uh, using a discrete uh, wavelet transform so in wavelet transform you know it is uh, decomposed in uh, several uh, subbands is a low pass subbands and the uh, high pass subbands using uh, proper thresholding techniques and also the scaling this will be helpful to again uh, after eliminating the noise to uh, reconstruct the signal so the technique the thresholding technique and uh, the level of decomposition is very much very much uh, important here because uh, while you are filtering if if uh, that that if you are eliminating the high frequency by decomposing uh, in uh, high pass subbands so some sharp change of the signal uh, there is a possibility to eliminate which can uh, contain the some important informations so all these things uh, the detail we will know uh, time to time but uh, here i am giving a, a glimpse of that okay so here first what uh, we are taking a simple uh, you see this is the time and we are taking a 50 hertz signal okay if you plot it 
if you plot the signal let us see how it is <laughs> my system is very slow you see we, we, we got a clean uh, signal so now we will create some noise in the signal so we are adding some additive white gaussian noise with some this is the signal to noise ratio we will increase the strength of the signal and let us plot it again see that now that now that uh, signal the sin the, the sinusoid the sinusoidal signal there is some noise i have added some noise as you know in uh, uh, our electrical response from the uh, contractile tissues and the uh, from the uh, uh, that means I am trying to tell that uh, the electrical response of cardiac myocytes those are in millivolt so it's quite easy to amplify but the electrical response of brain those are in even though less than a micro volt okay so if you amplify that there is a possibility of lot of noises lots of noises you will add with that and you have to find out some proper technique to denoise the signal without eliminating the important informations that is quite easier for uh, the signal which you are capturing and that is in that is in that is of higher amplitude like in millivolt in case of electrical response of uh, cardiac myocytes <coughs> so this is the noisy signal so let us see we will what we will do we will denoise the signal using a discrete wavelets transform we are using a single function called wden we can see that what is that in this video just i am showing you the technique but in the details lot of things are there which are to be considered that i will explain you time to time so you see here this is the so x is the signal and here this is the uh, threshold rule which kind of thresholding technique it will be used then whether it will be soft or hard thresholding about the scaling and the the level which will be useful to reconstruct the signal all these things are there so that will be that those details we will be learning time to time okay so now if i plot after deno denoising the signal let us see how it will be you see that yellow color signal here this yellow color after denoising let us use some other technique so we will use the mini maxi method so this i am giving the name one and i am changing the 
method as mini maxi and we will plot again t comma ft1 you see that blue color signal it is giving the signal which is reconstructed using discrete wavelet transform after denoising the actual signal so here what i mean to say that the threshold technique <coughs> the level of decomposition selection of a uh, subbands all these things plays an important role to denoise the signal okay so this is this the function the matlab function which will be used for this course or you can tell for this our case study is i have shown you to give you a glimpse now you can do i, I am requesting to my students that you can now go in deep and you can practice and uh, further we will work when uh, in our uh, subsequent lectures okay so uh, this is the all about because today this is the this is a short lecture about this hope you understood that thank you so much